I wanted to do another video announcement today just to alert you guys to a couple of things that are somewhat important. So one is changes in how we're tracking your progress on the course website. So in the past, you might have noticed that if you skipped around or played the video too fast, you'd get to the end and you wouldn't be allowed to proceed. So we've made the operation of the tracker a little bit more explicit and hopefully more transparent. So let me show you what's going to happen now. Um, if you start a video, there are a number of different things that you can do that will cause the video to not, will cause you not to get credit. So one example is you can mute the video. Now what's gonna happen is immediately once you do something wrong, the tracker is going to tell you what you did wrong and ask you to start over. So in this case it says you muted the video, leave the audio enabled, uh, and gives you the opportunity to restart. It should catch all the problems that would prevent you from getting credit. Uh, that's one of the problems. Another problem is skipping around in the video. So here I just, showed an example of that. So I skipped too far ahead, says same thing, asks me to restart. Um, if I play the video at too high of a speed, um, that's something else that also is going to uh, eventually trigger the same type of warning. It takes a little bit longer here, but there it is. Um, and then probably the thing that's going to uh, frustrate you the most, I would guess, is the fact that at this point, if you put a tab on top of the video, it is also going to stop. So you're gonna be back here and gonna be asked to restart. So why are we doing this? We want you to watch the videos. We want you to focus on the videos that you're watching. It's not sufficient to just listen to them. That's why we recorded them as videos as opposed to audio. There's actually useful diagrams and information on the screen. Um, first time through, we want you to watch them. We want you to pay attention, um, focus on the video, so not have other tabs um, open. Once you've seen the video and got credit for it, you can go back and you can watch it however you want. Uh, so you can use that to do review. But the first time through, we'd like you to actually uh, pay attention. So the, these changes are designed to do that, but they're also designed to make sure that as soon as there's a problem, you can restart. So you won't have to play the video, wait to the end, and wonder if you're going to get credit. Okay, the second uh, change I want to alert you to is that the second video assignment is due three weeks from Friday. Um, the topics are a choice from the week six through ten. So that's weeks on naming, uh, the web, search, security, and identity. Uh, so, and what we're doing for this time is that we're not going to allow you to record videos on some of the sort of lighter topics like the introductions, tool tips, how to um, use the command line and stuff like that. The goal of the video assignments is to give you a chance to demonstrate that you understand some of the technical content by explaining the video, explaining the concept to someone else. So we want you to choose one of the core technical concepts. There's a list up here on the syllabus that explains what you cannot do. Please consult that before you decide which video you're going to shoot. So um, that's it for this week. Hope you are enjoying the um, uh, web document assignment and uh, we'll see you next week.